Hi Gemini, welcome to your mid-month relationships update. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Gemini, let's get started. I'm going to pull a card firstly, talking about the feminine energies for this reading. Now, of course, as most of you are aware, both signs, masculine and feminine, we all have that within ourselves. So it really is about whatever you resonate with at the particular time. So you could resonate as a feminine, you could resonate as a masculine, you get to choose. So let's see. The energy around the feminine, please, spirit. The energy around the feminine. Gemini. For beautiful Gemini for the mid-month of September. Oh, that's a lovely one. We've got the card of receptivity. Now with this one, it is about uh, more of a high priestess kind of energy that I'm feeling around this Gemini. Allowing things to come to you rather than doing a lot, rather than taking a lot of action. It seems like you may have already done what you can in a certain situation and now you have to receive. Now, of course, this can be reversed energy. If you're cross-watching, it may reverse. So it could also be needing to give. So we'll get to see who is who in this reading. Let's take a look at the masculine. Now, this could be a masculine Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. It could be any sign. So let's take a look. The masculine energy for this reading for Gemini, please, spirit. The masculine energy for this reading for Gemini. Alchemy, okay. Making things happen. Okay, so I get you more or less sitting back here allowing uh, this masculine energy to come towards you. Let's get the connecting energy. What connects these two people, Spirit? What connects these two people? Towering magnificence. Oh, okay. I get that as you, Gemini. I feel like this person is trying to reach the heights. Trying to reach the heights. Trying to live up to your... Or what they feel you're expecting. Mm, okay, let's see where that one's going. I've already meditated on these cards, but I will do a few more shuffles here uh, for you guys. So let's take a look. This is the energy around the person that you are dealing with, the person that is in your energetic field, that's um, mostly on your mind, or the person that you are dealing with around at the time of mid to late September 2021. Let's get this person's energy person that Gemini is dealing with. Now we'll start with their past energy, move on to the present, take a look at the energy around the feminine and the masculine, the positives of this connection, the challenges, hopes, fears, goals, what's being avoided, what's happening in the environment, other people that may be involved, an action to be taken, what's hidden and the potential outcome. Okay, uh, Gemini. Ooh, towering magnificence. As long as it's not a towering inferno. Remember that old movie? Okay. Ten of Wands in the reverse. I feel like this person is having to reconsider their efforts in this case. It feels like this person feels like they may have failed in this case. This could be an ex or it could be just someone who's trying to get with you, a Gemini, and they haven't been able to manage it just yet. But I get a strong energy that this person is, is not going to give up. I get them circling around, circling back around after a rethinking their efforts. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here they come. The Knight of Swords. They have had a think about it. They're thinking, no, you know what? I'm not done here. I've still got something I can create with, with this Gemini. 
this feminine energy and I want to come in and try now I do feel like this person has lofty goals lofty ideas so they're trying to reach the yeah I get trying to level up trying to reach a goal Wow the feminine has the magician and I feel that uh, the energy around the masculine here is again trying to partake in the magic that is you Gemini okay whatever that means to you they see you as someone who is quite magical they see you as someone who can do everything uh, they see you as someone who is certainly capable of uh, uh, dealing with a lot of uh, issues in your life they see you as someone who is achieving success and they see you as someone who has a lot a lot of uh, tools available to them now this person does see you as a prize they see you as someone who is certainly attracting a lot of attention uh, Gemini okay all right we've got the Hierophant here now this is the masculine energy now this person very smart person I get that but they feel it's it's like they're a little bit lost here and they're looking for the keys my spirit guide is saying this person you wouldn't think this about this individual but they do actually feel quite powerless they do feel inept in your presence like they don't have the skills they don't have the uh, the talents that you possess uh, Gemini and it's like they're learning from you I get that they're learning from you how to I don't know how to conduct themselves in a relationship but I don't even feel like this person is in a relationship with you Gemini but they're trying to be okay now when it comes to the positives of this connection we do have the nine of Pentacles in reverse now this would be the case I feel like this person would have more of a chance if you weren't so capable but they're a bit intimidated by your independence uh, they see you as someone who is a high achiever and I feel it would be better for this person if you were looking for someone to to help you I get uh, if you were more of a codependent type Gemini but this this person is just not uh, I don't feel they're getting you uh, they don't get you they don't get your independence they don't get your need for independence the challenge here is the ace of wands now I do feel that this person has a high level attraction to you but and here's where it gets interesting I feel like it's uh, something that is more physical in nature at this present time I do feel like you have a lot of power in this case Gemini because this person is so physically attracted to you but it's the challenge because I feel like you have not given in to this person I do feel like they are continuing to try though okay this is interesting in the hopes position we've got the, the death card it's it's almost like this person is hoping that you put an end to this because then it for some reason I, I get this person can then somehow put what am I getting here spirit it, it's an unusual kind of energy that I'm getting here this person feels like they need to keep pushing for this 
while you're still possibly open to receiving them. But it's like they're hoping that you actually close this down. Because at the back of this person's mind, I feel that they actually don't feel like they can achieve this goal. So it's actually making them feel quite bad about themselves. <coughs> the fear here is the world in reverse. Yeah, the fear is that this is just going to keep going and going and that it's, they're not going to get anywhere. This person seems to be very goal oriented, uh, very fixated on achieving this goal. And if they don't achieve the goal within a certain specific time period, I feel it upsets this person greatly, makes this person anxious because they don't like to feel like they are losing or that they are fighting a losing battle. Uh, I get that this person is used to achieving goals. And they're very uh, rigid in their thinking, in terms of their, their time timing. They, they need things to be done a certain way in a certain time period. And if they don't achieve that, that's a problem for this person. Goal. Eight of Wands in reverse, yeah. They're, uh, they just want to know one way or the other. Is this possible? If not, I feel that this person just wants to move on. Uh, they also think that you might be, uh, I feel like this person has got some uh, issues around jealousy. Uh, they may be fearing that you have a lot of uh, people around you, Gemini, or that someone will come in and swoop you off your feet while they're waiting for these results with you. What's being avoided? This is interesting. Queen of Cups energy. Okay. I'm getting this person actually <laughs> I'm getting that they actually fear opening up fully to emotional intimacy so they tend to chase after people who are not available in some way okay in the environment we've got the tower yeah this feels like a make or break I actually feel it's more of a um, um, it's interesting because we've got towering magnificence and and the tower, I feel it's more of a break, this breaking apart kind of energy. I feel like a lot of this has to do with ego, this person's ego. Uh, they have a, a big ego and they like to feel, they like to feel like they're winning, they like to feel like they've, they've got it all together they, they like to feel like they've achieved something uh, in their mind they do feel that they are uh, pretty good they, they feel like they're a catch they feel like they they should have this opportunity with you Gemini so this is kind of tearing down their ego this I don't know you've either rejected this person or you're just not really doing much about this person. You're allowing them to come to you with this energy, but I get you being more, a little bit standoffish, I would say. Not really doing much about this particular person, just seeing what comes to you. Now other people, Queen of Wands, okay. This is someone else in the picture. I feel like this person does have someone else around them. Could be Fire Sign, Energy, Gemini, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. So there is another feminine energy around this person, which is could be the reason why there is this... Uh, 
they could be trying to make you jealous I mean that's a very low vibrational energy uh, possibly by putting some kind of triangulation or third party in the mix here with this queen of rods an action to be taken we do have the four of cups so Gemini I do feel like this is getting this person down on the dumps they're actually feeling quite uh, rejected by you they're feeling and uh, yeah it, it just I just get this kind of blahness like mm. uh, it's not exactly giving up because I do feel like this person is still trying but at the back of their mind it, it feels like this person's already given up emotionally speaking I, I don't see them being emotionally uh, that's the thing it doesn't seem like this person's emotionally available or doesn't want to be emotionally available They're, it feels very uh, physical this this connection with you Gemini uh, there's even another person in the mix here so this individual seems to be at the moment losing hope but they still feel challenged like you're a challenge to them they're not quite sure what they, they want to do about this do they still want to keep going with this because it's 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 hurting their ego what's hidden here is the Sun and that's interesting something coming to light it has to do with this person's ego I feel that's the thing that's coming to light here uh, they are the magician goodness Gemini yeah I feel like they're uh, they're playing some dirty tricks here behind the scenes not just with you but I also feel with this person let's see I'm gonna pull another card here before I go to the extended and in the extended guys I'll be pulling over the outcome card going much further in detail I'll be clarifying It'll be about another 30 minute reading so if you'd like to join me there I'd love to have you the link is down below in the descriptions box or you can go to my channel membership page and there you can join my band of gypsies we're small but mighty so please do consider joining I'd love to have you guys there you can click on the join button or you can look in the box below uh, for the link at the top tier level is where you'll gain access to all of the extended readings and I do about 36 or so a month okay so let's have a look I also do personal readings guys uh, if you'd like to have one of those you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com I also have an Etsy store and you can purchase directly there and the link is down below uh, please take a moment now to press that thumbs up button really is very important for my channel and I'd love for you to do that leave me a comment down below let me know uh, what you think of this spread and if this is resonating with you or what's even just what's going on with you here in mid to late September and of course if you're a newcomer please do subscribe but I want to find out more information about this masculine energy what's going on here with this masculine okay yeah we've got the Crusader here which makes sense with this Knight of Swords so the sword and the stone so there's a feeling around this um, this masculine here of uh, hitting a brick wall with you Gemini but not giving up doesn't want to give up here at all he is uh, yeah circling back around with a different strategy because this one doesn't appear to have worked I don't feel the if he is trying to incite jealousy I don't see that that's working uh, what will this person do well I feel that you're going to find out things are going to become very clear to you Gemini 
around mid to late September. So we'll see where this goes in the extended reading. Again, I hope that you join me there. The link is down below, or you can join my band of gypsies to have access here on YouTube. Wishing you the best, Gemini. Please do take care and bye for now.